everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video of things that are on my makeup wish list. I did a video of things that I've enjoyed so far in 2021 and items that I haven't enjoyed in 2021 and I think I kind of want to wrap up this halfway mark with things that I think I want to purchase in 2021. Um, I mean, I haven't really, I've been in a very like no buy, low buy kind of mentality most of the year. Um, the things that I have bought are just things that I know that if I didn't act fast, it was like a run, don't walk situation. Um, so I don't know, like I, I don't want to just start buying things, but I just want to put out there the things that I'm interested in. So if maybe by the end of the year I can see if I actually purchased it or if I've changed my mind. I'll try to put images where I can on screen because obviously I don't have them. Um, but I have a few different websites that I shop off of that I have pulled up. So I'm going to start with the Sephora because I feel like that's an easy one. So the things that I have in my basket are the Rare Beauty Mini Mauve's Lip Balm Duo. Um, I wanted to try their lip products. Everyone really, really likes it and they look really cute. And I think one of the items in here is like a limited edition to this set. I don't like a bright pink lip, but uh, I think I like a more pinky tone on my lip. And I don't know, the, the images when you're looking at this product are really, really pretty. And I feel like that's kind of the lip shade that I like. Um, I want to, I have the Fenty Beauty Glass Bomb Heat in my uh, shopping cart, as well as the Fenty uh, Ease Drops. I, I really, really think that lip gloss looks so pretty. Again, it's just a thing of like, I'm seeing a lot of like promotional pictures with it and I try to be careful when I'm looking at things that are promo pictures because you can edit anything to look a certain way. And like the eavesdrop, I really like, I really like skin tints, that's my favorite. I think as far as foundations go, I'm really a skin tint person. Um, I've been really enjoying the Tarte one, but I'm running out of it. So I don't know, like I might just, I might just get the Fenty one. And I've heard that like there, a lot of people aren't really getting transferring with that. And if I have to wear masks every day, um, I don't know. I, I've had my eye on the Fenty eavesdrop since it dropped, so I, I feel like I might just purchase it soon. And then I have in here um, the Tower 28 Shine on the Lip Jelly. Uh, this one's in the shade Clear, but I think I really want the, I think it's the Almond Milk shade, or am I just saying a type of milk? Am I getting confused? I think it's almond milk. Um, it's more of like a, a mauvey pink. Um, but that one looks really, really pretty. And I I finally like took the plunge and bought the Tower 28 bronzer and uh, the cream bronzer and blush. And I've really, really been enjoying those. Um, so I think I might enjoy the lip gloss. I just, I don't know. I think I would rather get the Fenty Heat and the um, Rare Beauty one over the Tower 28 because I feel like the the Heat Glass Bomb and the uh, Rare Beauty set, I think those are limited edition, so I don't know. So some items I have in my love section are the um, Nails Ink, it's only neutral nail polish quad, and it's like a pinky, green, blue, and like a nude tone. I don't know if I would actually buy this only because like I don't really like to paint my nails, but I've been enjoying, or I have been enjoying the gel nail stickers. So I think it's just like the color scheme that's really calling to me. Um, I have the Orange Bitters Cologne by Jo Malone. And I have the Dolce & Gabbana, um, it's like the green one. I have that in my wish list. I also have the Huda, Huda Beauty Glowish Soft Radiant Bronzer. Um, 
I think a lot of people have been really enjoying that bronzer. I don't know if I really need another bronzer, but I think that's why it's in my loved and not in my cart. <laughs> oh, and I have the Melt Cosmetics um, Honey Thief uh, Cream Blush. So far, I think those are like items that Besides those two lip products, I don't think there's anything really in there that's like uh, out right now. Like it looks like the Melt blush is out of stock as of filming this, but it'll come back eventually. I, I'm hoping so anyway. Um, let's see what I have at Ulta. So I don't have anything in my Ulta bag, but it's because I made an Ulta purchase and that was um, the hair ties, my eye gel and the other things that i mentioned in that video but i have the good molecules instant cleansing balm this would be a restock because this is already the cleansing balm that i use so i'll probably move that to my cart soon i have the house of lashes uh nor fairy light uh fake mink false lash and then the iconic false lash I think I haven't tried the House of, or excuse me, I have one pair of House of Lashes, lashes, right? How many times do I need to say lashes? But this is from the Sephora collection and I have got these on a sale and like these are my favorite eyelashes right now. Um, this is in Citroen and it's, I think this is just like a limited edition and I think that's what, like it, it's super on clearance. So I don't know like if I'll have time to buy and if it's still even in stock because I might. But I think the only reason I didn't buy another one was because I wanted to try the, um, I hear really good things about the Iconics and the Nor Fairy looks more like the wispy eye shape that I like. I think that's it. I mean, they have the Urban Decay um, Space Cowboy eyeshadow, but that's I think I only really have it in there because it's called Space Cowboy, and if you know, you know, but that's it. Um, oh, this just reminded me, I also want to get to the Nabla Cutie Palette. I want to get the new um, Analog Palette. I don't know if I want the blue palette as well, but like, I definitely, the Analog one is really calling to me. Um, and I want to try the Alien Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. I I don't know, are the Alien Cosmetic Palettes magnetic? Like if I were to pop out those highlighters, um, can I put them in like, I guess you could make any highlighter magnetic. I just don't really reach for face palettes all that much. But if I can, but I love all the shades. So if I can make all of those shades individual, like and easier to kind of grab towards, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm confusing myself on how I actually do my makeup because like all of the highlighters in that collection look so pretty and that green one really, really calls to me. Um, oh, and the last one I wanna talk about is ColourPop. So I, ColourPop is a weird one because like ColourPop usually has like sales and things like that and it, like they're already pretty affordable but I think if I were to put all the things that I want in a basket at once like the price is like overwhelming so then I just empty it and not think about it but I want to get the So Very Lovely palette and I want to get the um the browner shade and the more pinky highlight shade of the uh, Super Shock shadows that came out in that set. And I want to get the uh, orange Powerpuff Girl blush. And what else? What else did I want from ColourPop? Oh, they had the set of like nude lip liners because I don't I don't really have too many lip liners either. And the set had the ones like, cause I want the BFF and the cool BFF um, and a few of the other shades that were already listed in that set. And by the time I finally just said, you know, I'll just get it, it's fine. They were sold out and like, I don't know, I don't think sets like that really come back at ColourPop. So I think I just missed out, but I know I can buy them individually. Um, so that's not a big deal. 
And then the last brand that's really like calling to me that like I think about every time I cave and start shopping for makeup, I always find myself on Odin's Eye. And I think I want to get the Amber Tears palette. Um, I really like the pinky kind of color story that this palette has. It's got like the pinks and the orange and it has like that coral shade and those like neutrals. I feel like just for like an everyday palette that's kind of more of like the color story I lean for anyway. Um, I thought this was very similar to the So Very Lovely palette so like that's, a why, that's the reason why I didn't get either of them when they came out. But I think both have two very different color stories. I mean, I think they're in a similar family, but I think it's, um, you, you just get different looks. But th there's definitely like a similarity in the um, like lilac and pinky tone. But I think in the So Very Lovely palette, it's just like a soft muted kind of lilac color where it's a bit more vibrant and pastel in, um, the Freya palette. Yeah, I want to get the very big Alva palette with like the yellow and the plummy tones and those shimmers because all of the looks that I've seen from that palette, like that palette reminds me of like uh, my favorite color stories of like The Witcher 3. Um, just like places I like to be on the map, characters that I like to interact with. It just gives me very Witcher vibes and I don't know if that's because like when I learned of Odin's Eye, I was playing The Witcher 3. I don't, I don't know why I correlate those two together, but I do. Um, but that's, and I'm not a huge fan of like super big eyeshadow palettes, but these shades all look so very lovely and you can do so many different things. Like I don't really travel, but I think if I were someone that did travel, like this would be the one palette I would bring with me because I could do so many different things with it. And so that's everything that I have in like my imaginary shopping spree basket. Um, I can't be the only one that just puts a bunch of items in a shopping basket and then closes the window. Um, <laughs> but these are all the items that like my, I always go back to and that I'm constantly thinking about. And even when new products are dropping, like I'm not as in attracted to them as I am these previous products that I've listed. So let me know in the comments down below, do you have any of these items or have you also had your eyes on any of these items? Um, can you give me some feedback? Like, am I wasting my time with the Rare Beauty lip products? They look really good and like, I was kind of on the fence about Rare Beauty and trying it out because like, I'm not huge on like makeup or celebrity makeup brands, but it seems like people are really, really liking it. <laughs> I say I'm not big on ce celebrity makeup brands, but then like, I love Fenty. I don't know. Is the Selena Gomez, like, is she doing her homework on makeup and like creating quality products? That's just like my main concern. Um, have you tried Odin's Eye? Do you know anything about Alien Cosmetics? Like their highlighter palette looks really, really good, but I also have some my eye on some of the eyeshadow palettes, but I have other eyeshadow palettes that I want to try first, and that's a whole long story. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and opinions are, and I will see you guys in the next one.